Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Angelie here, what it do? And today you guys, it is another bariatric surgery update. Right now I am outside of the health complex, I guess. Today I have a cardiology appointment. My appointment originally was for two weeks from now, but I got an email saying that um, they can move it up early. Did I want to accept it? And I was a little hesitant, only because I did accept it, but I was only hesitant because of the time. I am extremely early for this appointment, which is uh, great for me, but in the city that I'm in, it's better to be safe than sorry. It Right now it is 1.49. My appointment is not until 3.15, but I promise you, if I would have left my house 30 minutes from now, 30 minutes from now, it would have been hell to pay, because school is about to get out, these school buses, so I'm a little early, it's fine. I have, I don't really know what to expect. I do know from my understanding that everyone has to take a stress test. They did not um, tell me that in the email or anything like that, that I have to take one. So I did wear tennis shoes just in case. I mean, they're not, um, <laughs> they're not a pair of Nikes or anything, but they are tennis shoes, okay? I can get on a treadmill or something like that if need be. I have been trying to look at YouTube videos about what to expect at a cardiologist, at the cardiology appointment, and I cannot find any. So I'm going to try to document this as much as I can. Hopefully this will help um, somebody else. So, so far, this is my only appointment for this week. Next week, I have three appointments. I go back to see my surgeon. I have um, a virtual exercise class. I don't know. It's virtual. So, um, I have to do that. I think that's on Monday. And Tuesday, because I'm now pre-diabetic, so I have to take a disease management class or something, girl, something like that. And I have to go to that on Tuesday, so I'll try to um, document that as well. So, yeah, after, the, after next week, the only other appointment that I have as of right now is... Um, I have to go see the pulmonary doctor, and I also have to get a e EGD, and I need to call my doctor right now. You know what? I'm here. I might just go in and try to um, get that scheduled because someone was supposed to call me, and they have not, but since I'm here, I might as well go in and show my face, and hopefully, if they can get me in this week because I'm free this week. That will be great. So other than that, you guys, I have my clearances for everything else. So, so far with me, the clearances, I had to get a letter from my primary care doctor. That was easy breezy. I got that. Um, my psych, I did my psych evaluation last week. That was easy breezy. Um... Who else did I have? Uh, I had to do this other thing where you have to see, um, you have to get like over uh, overall health clearance or whatever. I did that. Oh, this lady's pregnant, pregnant. Bless her heart, she's pregnant. Anyway, um, I did all my blood work. I did that. Um... Yeah, so it's just I have to do the the pulmonary doctor, the disease management lady, the cardiologist today, 
and I go back and see my surgeon next Thursday and we will see what goes from there so I'm sorry y'all dropped my phone on the sun Ugh, I can't even see myself but anyway um when I get ready to go into my the cardiology appointment I will pick you guys back up all right see y'all in a moment All right, you guys, so I'm inside. I'm all checked in. I'm still a little early. It's 3 o'clock. So I'm just waiting on them to call me back. All right. So, y'all, we in the room. We waiting on the doctor. It took them a long damn time to come. It's after 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, y'all. And I've been here forever. Y'all, I'm just finished with my appointment. I am just, I'm beside myself. I'm beside myself. I just feel like I just got a big F you, okay? Ugh, I talked to y'all in the car. Y'all, so, because of my family history, um, of course I did not get cleared today. I did not have to do the stress test or anything today, but I have to come back and do it. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting in the car. I have to come back. Hold on, y'all. Let me wipe my hands off. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. Because of my family history... I just feel like no matter what, my family always be coming back to bite me in the ass. Real talk, like I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm sorry, y'all. My car connected. Um, I just feel like my family just be they be biting me in my ass. With my family history, you know what I'm saying? It's like no matter what, it's 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 always coming back to haunt me. No matter what I do. So, I have to come back because his schedule is so booked. And he's at he's on two totally different parts of town. I don't live anywhere near neither one of them. Like, this is already far as hell from where I live. It's like an hour. With traffic, hell, it might be two hours. With his schedule, um, he, you know, he wanted me to schedule the... EKG. He wanted me to schedule the stress test and everything. I'm trying to get it on the same day so I don't have to keep fighting this traffic multiple times. And his uh, his schedule, everything is in the evenings, which does not work for me or my life because y'all know I have a kid. So, and I'm a one-man band through the week. So, his earliest time for me to do a stress test is like the end of October, the end of September, but he wants me to come back and see him within six to seven weeks, but his schedule is booked solid all the way through December. How, Sway? How? But you have it in there, please make sure no matter what you come back to see me. How? So they was able to fit me in somewhere um, to come back and see him, but that's not until October. So, this whole cardiology shit is the one thing that's holding me up. So, there'll be a part two to this. I'm, I'm just annoyed. I am annoyed. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... My head is legit hurting. I'm annoyed as hell. I need to go give me some water or something like, like for real, for real. I'm just annoyed. I just got, it's like a big F you. It's not the doctor or anything. It's just, it's me. It's my family history. And he, he went through my charts and everything. He was just like, oh, this has been a problem for a long time. 
There's a Starbucks across the street. I'm just gonna go get me a lemonade. Woosa. Fight this 5.30 traffic. Oh my God. Go pick up my daughter. And just be. But I'm still gonna show you guys this. You guys wanted to see this? <laughs> So, there'll be a part two and part three of the cardiology because I have to do the stress test. And then, a couple of weeks after that, I come back and see him. I'm going to try to keep calling and see if there's like a cancellation in his schedule that I can move up on the list some. Because... I'm annoyed. Yeah. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed like it. I'm so annoyed like Hey y'all, so look, it's the next day. And now that I have had a chance to woo-saw, let me guys tell you what happened actually in the um, doctor's appointment yesterday. So when he came in, he looked at, you know, my chart records, all that other stuff. He asked me questions about my um, family history and I told the truth. Had I lied, you guys, <laughs> he would have cleared me on the spot. But you know, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? And it's not nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? So I told him my family history that is very, very deep and strong and everything. So strictly because of my family history, he was like, no, I'm not clearing you. He was like, you have to do a stress test. You have to do an EKG. You have to do an echo. Um, he's really running me through the ringer. Not so much because of me, because he examined me and, you know, from the outside, I guess. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. But it's only because of my family history that he's running me through the ringer. Now, every time I go anywhere, this is always a hang up for me. My family history is a hang up for me in anything that I that happens to me medically. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I get so sick and tired of that every time I go to the doctor. Every time. So, it's frustrating. That's why I was just like, I just feel like it's a big F you. And I don't have a good relationship with that side of the, my family anyway. Like, they're really non-existent to me. But it's just like, I just feel like they just keep coming to bite me in my ass. So, that's why I felt that way yesterday. It's nothing against the doctor. The man was doing his job and I appreciate him for doing that. It's just that... He's an extremely busy person and his his offices are not close to me, like I said. And because he's so busy and his schedule is so hectic, I can't get things done quick. It's like when I'm when I'm trying to do something, I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I could get it over with. But I realize this is not on my time. This is on the man's time and the good Lord's time. You know what I'm saying? So his schedule permits me, doesn't permit for me to see him for another two months almost. So I thought that I could have this surgery done within the next two months because of his schedule. Unless things open up like it did this time. Because like I said, I wasn't supposed to go see him for another two weeks, but he had an opening. So if that should happen again, maybe things will move up. But that's why I felt like that. Like I said, all my other doctors and everything, I'm I'm good. It's it's no it's no you know I haven't had any issues. Um, 
Like I told him, I go for a hike. I show him my phone, you know, proof that, you know, because it tracks everything that I do. So he told me that, you know, he was proud of me and that that was a good thing. Keep keep going. So I'm about to go do this hike again right now. I go four to five days a week on this on this hike or whatever. So, you know, that's good that I have already been doing that. So other than that, like I said, I go back. When I go back, I have to do the stress test, the Echo and a EKG. And then I go back after that to actually see him to see what he says. Now, hopefully he clears me after all of that. All right, y'all. So that's what happened this time. But anyway, you guys, that concludes this video. Let me call my husband and tell him. I'm telling y'all first, y'all, because it's like, let me just, let me just vent and get it out. So then when I talk to my husband, I'm going to be all cool and calm. Like, oh yeah, he said this and he said that, da, da, da. But all right, y'all, that concludes this video. I thank you guys so very much for watching. Stay on this journey with me, y'all. <laughs> Stay on this journey with me. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.